want. So renting at least it's a sign that you have money you can afford. That is first step. And remember, as people, we have different goals, right? We have different goals. I wouldn't buy something that I, I don't I, I, that I I know that I will not need forever. Do you guys understand? I only buy things that I know that these are my assets that will last forever. In terms of alcohol, I can go to a club and rent alcohol because I know it's just temporary. But I can only rent alcohol because I can afford. Now, you, you, you can't rent if you can't afford. So, give credit to people who rent as well. There is nothing wrong with that. They can afford. You can afford. Let them be. At least it shows that they are hustling. They are able to afford something. Renting an M4. Every day, you have to pay something like 5,000 rents. Automatically. That simply means you have money. If you are paying 5,000 rent to rent a car every day, you have money. If you are paying 100,000 rents to rent an apartment, you have money. Finish and clear. How you spend your money, it's none of their business. You understand? Now, uh, in terms of trading activities, in terms of trading activities, uh, when I was staying at the student accommodation, I've, I've had a fight with the caretaker, right? I've had a fight with the caretaker uh, of where I was staying and it was bad because the guy didn't understand, the guy didn't like us because uh, he was trading before, you know? He was trading before us. So the guy was trading before us he was doing his technicals, right? He was doing his technical tradings and all that. So we are like the new kids on the block. We are doing fundamental. He has been trading for years. We are doing fundamental. All of a sudden, we're just making money. Quick, in one minute. So almost every Wednesday, it was we were trading, we were trading on Tuesdays back in 2017. We were trading on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Yeah, Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Uh, Wednesdays, we were trading meeting minutes under USD, uh, interest rate under USD. And then on Tuesday, I, I, for, I forgot what, what is it that we were trading. So on Tuesdays and, and Wednesdays, you would hear us scream, making money. You know, after making money, we withdraw. You know, we withdraw after making money. Then I told Kutu that, you see, this guy doesn't like us. And he's making our lives difficult you know when 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 you are renting when you are living in someone's sh shadow you live and abide by their rules you know you th there's nothing that you you can ever do because it's not your place so we were renting at the student accommodation i told Kutu that boy let us get our own house right let us get our own house so that we can get out of this abuse that we are in and then we agreed and then we drafted down a plan a trading plan a trading plan which 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 had results the aim was to make at least 300,000 rents that was the aim at that time you know we've drafted down our trading plan we've splitted our money the way we wanted uh, we wanted to and that was our plan, you know? And then we pushed, we pushed, we pushed. Now, here's how FBK was born. Uh, or, or let me rather say, here's how I got out there, you know, out there being known as that Forex guy. So one time I was trading, st still, still in the student accommodation. So when I was trading, it was on a Wednesday, I think. I was trading a, a USD interest rate. Now, when I was trading as the interest rate, I've, I've recorded the video. When I recorded the video, uh, I've posted it on Facebook. Remember, at that time, I didn't have followers, right? At that time, I didn't have followers. I didn't really care about followers. FBK was not entirely born. Uh, me trading was based on my surrounding, the people that I was with at that time, right? 
Now, the video went viral uh, on social media, especially KZN. People started sharing the video and so forth. So everybody wanted to know, who is this guy? You know, who is this guy? Why does he trade like that? Because I've made money. I've doubled the account in just like less than 20 seconds. It's, it's, it's something that uh, traders at that time have, haven't seen before. You know, they were amazed. They were like, who is this guy? Who is this guy? So they would come to me and say, dude, teach us how to trade, you know? And when they went to my Facebook account, they found me as, I think I was, I was CT coach at that time, I think. So they were, that's, that's how the, the name coach started growing in the industry. You know, they're like, hey, dude, teach us, teach us, teach us, teach us. And I've taught them, but teaching them was not really showing them everything from the start because we are talking about existing traders, people who already knew what Forex is, but they were doing the technical side of it. So I brought in the fundamental side of it in a different manner, in a different manner. Now, after that, people started asking, what is it that I'm doing and so forth. So I, I shared with people at that time. I told them, this is what I do. This is what I do. They've done it. Now, the problem here, here's the problem. After teaching them for free, keep in mind, teaching them for free, those niggas in KZN, they took everything that I taught them and then they started selling it. That was where the problem started now. You know, you come to me and you say, coach, teach me how to do this thing. I teach you for free. Keep in mind. After that, you are taking what I taught you for free. And then you're going to sell it to people in KZN. 5,000. You are selling my work. You know, that's when I noticed that hey, 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 the industry can be cruel at times. You know, you, 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 you teach people for free. And they don't respect your work. And that's how FBK was born. It was not entirely my plan. Uh, just like these small boys who just look at coach. They look at coach. They look at FBK. They're like, ah, tomorrow I'm opening a, an institution. Then tomorrow they open an institution. That's why they will never go far. It's because they are opening that based on competition. Never compete with anybody. Never. Be yourself. So that's how it that's how FBK was born that's how FBK started but obviously at that time uh, FBK started small now at that time at that time joining FBK was 25 rents 2017 joining FBK was how much 25 rand like 1 rand 2 rand 3 rand 25 rand at that time you know so that's 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 how I, I got in the industry. And then I made more videos trading, more videos trading, more videos trading, and, and all and all that. You know, I, I started small, very, very small. Now the problem begins with black people in general. A black person buys this thing for 25 rents. After buying for 25 rents, they are they are going to sell it for five thousand rents. You see, that was the problem that I've had. Uh, with this KZN niggas. Remember, I was dealing with KZN niggas at that time. It was KZN only. Gauteng, other provinces didn't really know much about trading. You know, if there is any province that is uh, top of the range with, with new scams, new scams, new updates, anything which has to do with quick money, it has to be KZN. I've got to give those people a cup. You know, even Triple M, they were the most participants. Even WhatsApp gifting. What, there's this thing called uh, WhatsApp gifting that's rotating. I don't know where, 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 where does it origin, but I know it KZN somewhere, somehow. There's, a, there's KZN involved. So I've got to give those guys credit. KZN people are hustlers, you know. I, I love how they think. They are, they are hustlers, you know. So... That's that's the, the the famousness of forex trading and the bad publicity of forex trading originates from KZN. That's another problem. 
and then it originated from KZN and then it came to Gauteng and then it spread uh, just like coronavirus to the other parts of the, the country. But it started in KZN. So that's, that's, that's how FBK was born and so forth. Keep in mind, I don't have a house at that time. I don't have a car. Keep in mind, I can afford Gucci at that time. I can afford LV. I can afford buying champagnes. But I didn't do any of those things. You see, here, here's something with God. I don't know if it's true, but I, it, it's my opinion. And I think it's true. It's my opinion, by the way. Here's something with God. I think God is going to be testing you with just small amount of money just to see your character. You know? And God constantly tested me with more money just to see my character. I mean... I would have bought Gucci from the first time I made my first 10,000, but instead I've saved it. I would have bought G Gucci when I'm, oh, I, I got to 50,000. I would have bought Gucci when I got to 100,000, but I was stingy at that time. Very, very stingy, you know? Now, God is giving you just 1,000 rents right now. Out of luck, you can't even use it. How do you expect to learn how to use 100,000 while you fail to use 1,000? Just a simple thing. Keep in mind, I only got to 100,000 because I, I, I learned. I learned to manage my money from 100 rents. Just 100 rents. Now, if you get 1,000 rents just now, I'm sure some, some of your neighbors won't even sleep. They must feel it that you have 1,000. And the truth is, what is 1,000 rents, people? What, what is 1,000 rents? You will be making noise about 1,000 rents. So if you want to get more money, learn to respect money from one rent. From one rent. Learn to respect money from one rent. Because one rent is going to take you to 100 rents. 100 rents is going to take you to 1,000. 1,000 is going to take you to 10,000. 10,000 is going to take you to 100,000. I didn't get to 100,000 100, from 100,000 deposit. I got 200,000 from 1,000. And throughout that step, I've been withdrawing every single cent that I've made as profit. It was a withdrawal. I was processing withdrawals all the time. Now, God is giving you 1,000 rents. God is giving you 3,000 rents. God is giving you 5,000 rents right now. The first thing that you think of is to, 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 to buy a PlayStation. The first thing that you think of, you buy a PlayStation, you, buy, you play, you buy a FIFA CD, you sit all day playing FIFA. You can't even think of saving that money. Keep in mind, I can buy PlayStation right now. I can buy, I can buy everyone who's on this live video right now. Playstations, everyone. You get a PlayStation, you get a PlayStation, you get a PlayStation. Everybody gets a PlayStation. Why? Because I can afford to do so. But most of you guys tend to buy things that you can't even afford. That is the main problem. That is the main problem. You're buying things that you can't afford. It takes me back to what I told you guys. Most never wish to be anyone on social media. Most of these people that you see with huge followers, good lifestyle, these people are poor. <laughs> you guys have no idea. These people are poor as fuck. Because they constantly need to do certain things so that they can maintain that standard. With me, I don't have to wear Gucci so that you can take me serious. Who are you? Eh? Who are you? Why must I impress you, Nje? You. Why must I go to Gucci, uh, buy Gucci so that I can impress you? The reason why I'm buying cars is not because I'm impressing you. I'm doing it for me. By the way, just don't, 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 don't misinterpret the situation. I'm not buying cars to impress you. If I buy an M4, it's because I wanted to buy an M4. I didn't buy it to prove a point to you. Who are you? Why must I prove myself to you? <laughs> so most people are doing things to constantly uh, impress others. And the most stupidest thing one person can ever do is to impress a poor person not in a bad way but you can't want to constantly keep on impressing poor people come and impress me 
then you might gain something in life. Impress me, you might gain. What's the use of impressing poor people? You are now impress poor people. What, what are you going to get out of poor people? You will get nothing. You'll get poor mentalities. That's the only thing that you can ever get. But impress me. Impress me. I'm telling you, we can have uh, business arrangements. We can have business deals. Y you understand? So it's very important to study where you impress. It's very, very important. Now, every cent matters. You need, you, need, you need to save people. I don't need to save. And you don't need to tell me what, what, what I must do with my money. If I was able to make 100,000 from 1,000 rents on my own without you, what makes you think you can be my financial advisor right now? Now, I, I have been there. I, I, I know money. I can't have 100,000 and get naked. I'm used to that. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm used to that. So you must respect one rent. You must respect one rent and stop doing things to impress people who don't add value in your life. Stop doing that. Come on, people. Most of, I've, I've been looking at the traders. I've been looking at traders. Most traders would be very far as we speak. They would have, you they would be very far. But here's one problem. They're doing things to impress. They're doing, doing things to compete with me. <laughs> Could I just look at them? They go to clubs. They swipe 300,000. 300,000 rents. That time that person doesn't even have a house. That person doesn't even have a car. They are not doing that to make themselves happy. No. They are doing that to prove a point to people that I can spend more money than coach. You will get to that club. Spend 300,000 to, to, to impress people just so you can show them that you have more money than me. What you don't know is that the following day, the owner of the club will call me and say, Coach, come take your share. What if I own shares in that club? How stupid are you? Yeah? But nonetheless, we all make our own choices. Now, um, 2017... Uh, I've told Bertwell, my manager, my current manager, I've told Bertwell that, Bertwell, um, since you know that I'm no longer into music anymore, now I'm pushing Forex, come and join me. You know? You know what Bertwell said? He said, I, Mfana, I'm not coming there. That thing is a scam. The, you see, the very same Bertwell that you know today, he said that's a scam. I told Vincent. The Vincent that you know. I'm like, Vincent, I'm pushing Forex, my boy. Come and like, come, let me show you how this thing is done as family. Vincent said, ah, I'm fine. That's a scam. I'm not coming there. It's a scam. Now, it's because of this. Everybody says Forex is a scam until it works for them. Which, which makes sense. I mean, you didn't just believe something that never worked for you, right? So, we, we can't really blame them. Fosh, I told him. From 2016, Fosh, I've told him in 2016. I was like, Fosh, come boy, let's push this trading thing. Fosh said, ah, it's a scam. I'm talking about my current partners. They all said it's a scam in the beginning right we 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 we, we can't blame them at that time betwell was a rugby player betwell was playing rugby you see how fat he is now it's because he was drinking when i was trading betwell was drinking a thing called usn usn it's like supplements they make you fat so when I was trading, he was drinking USN. When I'm trading, he's drinking USN. So he got big, he got big. He got very, very big. He was playing rugby at that time. He actually thought that someday he's going to play for the national uh, springbok, what, what. He was playing rugby bet well. I told him that you see this rugby of thing of yours. You are running after six packs. I'm telling you, my boy, six packs don't pay bills. Leave that thing. And he's like, I, I'm fine where I am. I'm like, okay, sharp. 
Now, that time, I didn't have a house. I didn't have a car. Yet still, the current partners that I have already knew. They already knew what I'm doing. But they all said it's a scam. Now, this simply means that even your surroundings, people you are with right now, will say it's a scam. Until you make money and now they want money from you. That's life, unfortunately. It's, it's, there's nothing we can do. It's, it's part of life. You know? Now, uh, God answered our prayers after trading and we've managed to, to get our own house. We've been planning for that since month end January, early February 2017. Uh, getting our own place and all that, you know. Now, back to relationships. Remember, the reason why I've pushed hard, I've pushed further, I've pushed hard and all that was because of the relationship that I was in at that time. So the girl, when she left me, she told me painful words and all that, which broke me, obviously. And that was the reason why I made it. And she left me in October, right? October, November, December, I was precisely single. January, that's when I started to, 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 to come back in a, to, to, to consider having a relationship when, when, when I was making money. So I found this small girl. I found this small girl. Uh, I think she was, yeah, she was about 18 years old at that time, but doing my trick. And I was about 21 years old. She was 18. I was about 21, somewhere there. Yeah, I think I was about 21 years old. She was 18. So I found this small girl and I told her that, look, baby girl, I, I come from a bad relationship, right? I'm not sure if I will be able to open up my heart to be in a relationship because of what I've been through, you know? But at the same time, I, I just I just need to feel loved at the same time. So we agreed and we entered into a relationship. That was about somewhere around January with a small girl. When I say small girl, I simply mean that she was cute, she was tiny. You, you see those cute, tiny, beautiful girls, you know? I, I didn't want, because the one who hurt me, the reason why I went for a small girl was because the one who hurt me was actually more matured. You know, when a woman is 24 years, it's like she's 35 years when it comes to her ways of thinking. So I told myself that, okay, let me get someone younger so that I can you know, I can be able to, 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 to feel like a man when I'm with them. So I've decided to go on Facebook and post about the relationship. 2017, I've posted about the relationship. I've posted her, uh, that that's my new girlfriend, you know, remember now my life is starting to pick up now. My life is starting to pick up now and I'm starting to make money, you know, there's hope, you know, so I've posted it. I'm like my new girlfriend. So what happened? That girl who broke my heart, the main reason why I'm successful even today, she has seen it somewhere, somehow because people were talking. She came to me straight and she told me that I'm fucking with her now. Now I'm fucking with her. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Dude, you dumped me. You left me. Now you, you are coming back and you are saying I'm fucking with you. What do you mean? She's like, you are cheating on me. I'm like, hey, 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 hey. This girl. So it's more like she dumped me the year before. And when she sees me getting into a relationship and it looks exciting, she comes back and she, 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 she says I'm cheating on her. And I was like, what the fuck? What do you mean I'm cheating on you? She's like, you know what? You are going to dump that little girl right now. Now I was caught up in a difficult position. Now, keep in mind, people. Keep in mind. Um, this girl, in 2017, I still loved her. Right? I still loved her. I just didn't like what she did to me. I just didn't love what she did to me. But I still liked her, 
right? So she comes back and she says that she didn't dump me. Number one, she didn't dump me. She only said that she wants to take a break. And I'm like, eh, Michola Jis. So you didn't dump me. You wanted to take a break. She said, yes, now you're going to leave that little girl. Now, out of love, out of love, I did. I, I, I left the little girl. I told her that, baby girl, uh, it was nice having you for like a week. I think the relationship was about a week old or something like that. It was nice having you for about a week, but I've got to end this. You know, I think I'm not, I'm not healed enough to be in a relationship. That time I'm lying. That time I, 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 I wanted to get back with the one who hurt me. You see, I've, I've been asking myself that why you guys know that uh, gender-based violence is a very sensitive issue in our country right now. Men are abusing women. It's a reality, right? And it is, it is very unfortunate that there are men who do that. So there are men who abuse women. After they abuse women, the very same woman who was abused, the very same woman who was abused would go back to the abuser. You know, I've always thought those people are stupid. Somewhere, somehow. I mean, a man abuses you, he beats you, everything. But at the same time, you go back to him again. You know, I, I just never understood that, that scenario. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't make what the man what the man is doing to you right it doesn't make it right that he abuses you or anything but you having to go back to the very same person who's abusing you i i just don't know that was me i did the same thing the same person who broke me who broke me apart i went back the biggest question is was it love or was I just being stupid? You guys will decide whether it was love or I was just being stupid at that time. We got back together. But I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to tell you this, guys. Né? Uh, ladies, if we have ladies in the house. Ladies, if we have ladies in the house right now. Uh, you have a boyfriend, right? You have a boyfriend and I believe you love your boyfriend and you have been with the guy for the longest time if possible if it's not recent and the relationship is doing good and all that but I want I want to tell you something you see you see we men we men have a serious problem I've seen it with me. I've seen it with me. You are with a guy. You do everything for him. You buy him underwear. Just under. We call it under pen. You buy him under pen. You, you take care of your man. He has nothing by the way. Let that nigger get money. Ladies, I'm telling you this. Let that nigger get money. Let that nigger have money. You will see his true colors. You will even find out that you were never your boyfriend's type. He was only with you because you couldn't get Beyonce at that time. That is just reality. And most men are not aware that they are even like that. If, if you don't have money, chief, you are a man, you are listening. If you don't have money... And you think you love your your girlfriend with everything that you have. It's, you think you love her because of the state that you are in or the condition that you are in. Chief, get 100 million the following day. You and I can bet. You and I can bet. You are going to take out colors that you never knew you had. Or you're going to do things that you never knew that you are capable of. Because of money. I've seen it with me. Right? Keep in mind, all this time, 
all this time I thought I can't live without this girl. I thought I've made up my mind. But when we got back together, things were totally different. I've realized that, fuck, actually, I didn't really love this girl as much as I thought I loved her. I, I was just desperate because of the current poverty state that I was in. You know? And now, it's not fair on her. Because now, she's way into me. And now, I'm slowly fading away. After getting back together, I'm slowly fading away. And I'm fading away because I have money now. You see, when you have money, you see better things all the time. When you have money, you see better things all the time. All the time. There is, you, you can't see the end of women. There's always going to be something better all the time. And being in love when you're poor and being in love when you have money, total two different things. Right now, if I'm in love, right now, if I'm in love, it's genuine. It's genuine because I've got money. If I get 100,000 tomorrow, I will not change on my girlfriend. I've got money already. But it will be different for a poor guy, poor guy to get 100,000. You will see his true colors. So in that relationship at that time, I've seen it that actually I didn't love this girl as much as I thought I did. That was just the truth. Because now when you have money, ne? when you have money, it's like there are certain valves. I don't know if a brain has valves, but let's just assume a brain has six valves. When you're poor, only one valve is opened. That is why poor people have one thing in common. When it comes to anything which has to do with financial freedom, they label it as a scam. It's because when it comes to poor people, keep in mind, I was once one of them. Inside, deep inside, I'm still poor. Deep inside, it's, I'm still the same poor guy. It's just that now I have access to things. It's like poor people have one valve that's opened. They, the reason why I say they all have one valve that's opened is because of this. How they think and how people with money think, it's totally different. Totally different. But once one per, one, once a person gets money slowly, the valves are opening. The second valve opened. The third valve opened. Now I had three valves opened. Betuel still had one valve. Fosh still had one valve. Uh, uh, Vincent still has one, had one valve. One valve, I mean. So now when I'm there, they are there. That is that is just the truth. I can never think the same way as a person who's poor. But when I was poor, I was thinking in the same manner as everyone else. I was just like that. That is why even today on social media, poor people are the ones who are always attacking the rich all the time. You, you hardly see incidents whereby a rich person is attacking another rich person. Instead, they are friends. It's because they have six valves opened. So hustle until all your valves are opened. And it's just said that certain forex traders, they have one valve opened and a half. It's not even two valves. You can just see that this one, one valve is open. That's just normal. And then there is a half as well. The second valve is not, valve is not opened as yet. You, you can see. So there, there are steps. How I think now is totally different from how I used to think in 2017. How I used to think in 2017 is totally different compared to how I used to think in 2019. So every time, every process you learn, you improve, you improve. So I would like to confirm that now I have six valves opened. But most of the people still are on one. We all started on one. So slowly, slowly, you will adjust. Slowly, you will adjust. You slowly, you will adjust. You, we, we, we can't really uh, blame them, you know? Yeah.